hello friends and welcome to this video we are with the eighth chapter that is titled as applications of signal processing this is the chapter last one from our subject advanced digital signal processing various signal processing methodologies we have learned so far in the previous chapters and the associated applications which are so important and popular as well we are dealing in this particular chapter so the first video that it was to see how the signal detection is possible with the help of signal processing operations in efficient manner we have also dealt with spectral analysis of three types of signals first of all for the periodic type that it was sinusoidal case next to that speech signals for which the short time fourier transform which is also known as windowed fourier transform that we have seen next to that spectral analysis of random signals is also addressed and in the musical domain how the sound processing is done the special effects for the audio signal we have seen generated with the help of signal processing methodologies then digital musical synthesis analytic signal generation and after signal compression we have to deal with the next one that it is trans multiplexers so let us see the details in this video so here we start with our topic the topic titled trans multiplexers so although we have stepped very well into the digital domain there it is still the use of telephone services if for official use for personal use as well and this is also still there in the developing countries those despite of the digitization here we have the analog devices as well here so the telephone service is employing the two types of the multiplexing schemes here for transmission of the multiple low frequency voice signals over a wide band channel in the communication engineering the basic part you must have been known to where we are having our voice as a low frequency signal and to communicate it at the distant end we need the help of another signal which is a high frequency signal that generally we call it to be a carrier signal and the process is a modulation here here further part for communication is multiplexing and basically we have the two types one is with respect to the time division another with respect to the frequency division so the corresponding multiplexing schemes are referred to as tdm and fdm tdm standing for the time division multiplexing telephone system whereas fdm standing for the frequency division multiplexing telephone system so more information with respect to these multiplexing telephone systems can be given as if you talk about first of all the fdm the frequency division multiplex telephone system so there are multiple analog voice signals which are first of all modulated by the single sideband which can be abbreviated as ssb modulators that is on to the several sub carriers combined and further transmitted simultaneously over a common wideband channel now in order to avoid the crosstalk the sub carriers as discussed are selected as such for ensuring that the spectra of the modulated signals will not be overlapping with each other and as they have been transmitted from the transmitter end if received at the receiving end the modulated sub carrier signals are separated by analog bandpass filters and further demodulated the reverse process to that of the modulation we extract the original signal and the individual voice signals are reconstructed there so this is the case with respect to the fdm technology frequency division multiplexing telephone system technology on other hand if we have tdm or time division multiplexing telephone system the voice signals are first of all converted into the digital signals by having the sampling and analog to digital conversion procedure so after this 
analog to digital conversion procedure, especially the sampling, we have the samples of the digital signals that are time interlude by the digital multiplexer and further combined signal is transmitted. So this is what the thing transmitted from transmitter side at the destination that means at the receiving end the digital voice signal are separated by a digital demultiplexer and then pass through the digital to analog converter and an analog reconstruction filter to recover the original analog voice signals. Usually the time division multiplexing system TDM is employed for the short haul communication whereas the frequency division multiplexing scheme that is FDM is preferred for long haul transmission. It is quite necessary to have translation between these two formats until and unless there is a complete digitization. So this purpose is fulfilled by the use of the device system which is called as trans multiplexes our current topic. So now there may be a simple question to your mind. What is trans multiplexer? The trans multiplexer is a multi input multi output multi rate structure in the second chapter where we have addressed the multi rate digital signal processing we know what exactly the multi rate structure mean. So here it is exactly the opposite to that of the L channel QMF bank. So quadrature mirror filter bank and it is consisting of an L channel synthesis filter bank at the input end followed by an L channel analysis filter bank at the output end. Now this is what the visualization with the help of one illustration to explain the same. So on the left hand side you see the time division multiplexing system. The signals represented x0 of n, x1 of n, x suffix l minus 1 of n. Then we have the upsamplers with the upsampling or the interpolation factor denoted by capital L corresponding to the filter functions denoted by capital G0 of Z, G1 of Z this way up to capital G sub X L minus 1 of Z here. So this is all summed together and there it is frequency division multiplexing the signal represented U of N which is further separated to result into y0 of n, y1 of n and in general y sub x capital L minus 1 of n which is again the time division multiplexing. So in this case there are the filter functions denoted by h0 of z capital H1 of z in general capital H sub x L minus 1 of z along with the decimeters or the down samplers with the factor L as denoted into the schematic. Now let us visualize the equivalent polyphase representation. So here it is the illustration. So again we have x0 of n, x1 of n and up to x suffix L minus 1 of n at the input side along with the interpolation factor capital L. Here we have the polyphase representation by the expression for capital R of z to the power L. Then we have the use of delays with the help of the summers as denoted z to the power minus 1 which is fed to the next system which is also associated with the delays and the polyphase expression capital E of z to the power capital L and then the decimeters here with the factor L to result into y0 of n y1 of n up to y sub x capital L minus 1 of n. Now for determining the input output relationship of the trans multiplexer, let us have consideration of one typical path from the kth input to the lth output as indicated in this illustration part A here on the left hand side here you see x suffix L of n which is fed as input to first of all the interpolator along with the filter function capital G suffix L of z then the filter function hk of z along with the decimeter capital L here result into the function 
y sub x k of n. Here it is equivalent to the structure to obtain y k of n again from x sub x l of n if we have only one block as denoted by capital F sub x k l of z. So the representation on the right hand side is nothing but the linear time invariant branch with a transfer function denoted capital F sub x k l of z that is the zeroth polyphase components of hq of z multiplied by g sub x l of z. Thus the input output relationship of the trans multiplexer is further expressed by the mathematical equation where we obtain in general capital y sub x k of z by the summation with index variable L extending from 0 to capital L minus 1 for the multiplication of capital F sub x k L of z into capital X sub x L of z provided small k is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to capital L minus 1. Now let us have the representation capital Y of z the transpose of the array where the elements are in the row wise represented as y0 of z, y1 of z and so on up to capital y sub x l minus 1 of z. Also let us have another representation to denote capital X of z the transpose of the row matrix I can say capital X0 of z then capital X1 of z up to capital X sub x l minus 1 of z. So either you can call these to be the vectors also. So the previous expression that you see at the top for capital Y sub x k of z can be rewritten by these two um, denotions here. So here simply we write capital Y sub x z is equal to capital F of z into capital X of z here. So here we have capital F of z to be capital L minus capital L matrix whose k comma L th element is given by capital F sub x k L of z here. Now the basic intention of trans multiplexer is to produce the exact replica of the input that is fed to it. So thereupon it is expected to have capital Y sub x k of n to be x sub x k of n but practically if it is existed to be any crosstalk so that time we don't get the exact replica of input produced at the output here but if we consider theoretically crosstalk to be equal to zero so that time there it will be a reduction into the representation of the earlier expression so this new form of expression here we denote capital Y sub x k of z is equal to capital F sub x k k of z multiplied to capital X sub x k of z provided k is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to capital L minus 1. Now as in the case of QMF filter bank we can have definition of the three types of the trans multiplexer systems. So here the one is phase preserving system if we have capital F sub x k k of z to be a linear phase transfer function for all the values of the k. Whereas the second is a magnitude preserving system if capital F sub x k k of z is an all pass function. At last for a perfect reconstruction trans multiplexer we have capital F sub x k k of z is equal to alpha sub x k multiplied to z to the power minus n sub x k provided k is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to capital L minus 1. Here n sub x k is an integer and alpha sub x k is a non-zero constant. So for the perfect reconstruction system we have y sub x k of n equal to alpha sub x k multiplied by x sub x k of n minus n sub x k. This perfect reconstruction condition can be derived in terms of the polyphase components of the synthesis and the analysis filter banks 
that we have shown for the transmultiplex structure at the initial stage. Now, by making the use of cascade equivalences, let us have the equivalent representation indicated with the help of this illustration. So here at the input again you see as obvious x0 of n then x1 of n up to x sub x l minus 1 of n whereas the output is y0 of n y1 of n up to y sub x capital L minus 1 of n. Inside there you see first of all the polyphase expression capital R of z along with the upsamplers by the factor L and the delay z to the power minus 1 along with the summer shear which is fed to the structure of decimeters along with delays and finally the expression in polyphase that is capital E of z here. To see the central structure of this particular figure we can have the equivalent representation given by the next illustration here you see Again on the left hand side we have x0 of n, x1 of n, x2 of n up to x sub x l minus 2 of n and x sub x l minus 1 of n. The structure and then finally the output in terms of y0 of 1 n, y1 of n, y2 of n, y sub x l minus 2 of n, y sub x l minus 1 of n. So as this is the transfer matrix. So here we have the trans multiplexer given by the expression. We have capital F of Z expressed as capital E of Z from the diagram in multiplication to the matrix that is having the first row with the elements 0, 1. The second row elements are Z inverse into I suffix L minus 1, 0, which is further multiplied to capital R of Z. In this representation, I sub x L minus 1 is an L minus 1 by L minus 1 identity matrix. Now, for the perfect reconstruction system, it is quite sufficient to ensure that capital F of Z is equal to D times Z to the power minus N0 into I L, where N0 is a positive integer. Then, from the previous two equations that you see on this particular slide, we arrive at the condition for perfect reconstruction in terms of the polyphase components given by the expression. The polyphase components are multiplied to each other. We have R of Z into E of Z that is equal to D times Z to the power minus M sub x 0 multiplied to the matrix of the order 2 by 2 where the first row elements are 0, I sub x L minus 1, second row elements are Z inverse and then 0. So in this representation m sub x 0 is a suitable positive integer. It is quite possible to have development of a perfect reconstruction trans multiplexer from the perfect reconstruction quadrature mirror filter that is QMF filter bank with the analysis filter denoted by in general capital H sub x L of Z and the synthesis filter denoted by capital G sub x L of Z that is with the distortion transfer function given by let us say capital T of Z which is D into Z to the power minus capital K where D is non-zero constant and capital K will be the positive integer. It can also be shown that a perfect reconstruction trans multiplexer can then be designated using the analysis filters HL of Z and the synthesis filters Z to the power minus R multiplied to GL of Z where R is a positive integer less than that of the L such that R plus K is multiple of L. L is the multi-rate factor as shown in the earlier case. So here it was our topic trans multiplexers. So this was the ninth application in the last chapter applications of signal processing. So by the next lecture, we shall address the 10th application which is titled as Multitone Transmission of Digital Data. Thank you.